Page 376, problem number 31. Solve the equation. 4 times the cosine squared of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, our first step is to get our trigonometric expression, cosine of x, by itself. I can do that by adding 1 to both sides of my equation, then dividing by 4. Let's take care of both of those steps. That will give me the cosine squared of x equals 1 fourth. Now, I need to get rid of this squared, so we need to take the square root of both sides. So that will give me the cosine of x equals the square root of 1 fourth. Now careful, we're forgetting something if we write it this way. What I need to remember is that it's plus or minus the square root of 1 fourth because we can have some positive or negative answers that we square and that will give us the same value. Now let's just simplify this. Now square root of 1 is, is 1, square root of 4 is 2, so I can rewrite this as the cosine of x equals plus or minus 1 half. Okay, so my answers are going to be any angle that has a cosine of 1 half or negative 1 half. So if I look around my unit circle, cosine is my x-coordinate, so I need to find every angle that has an x-coordinate of 1 half or negative 1 half. And there's one right here, there's one right here, there's another one here, and another one here. So we've got four different answers here. So I've got pi over 3, we've got 2 pi over 3, We've also got 4 pi over 3, and we've got, let's see here, 5 pi over 3. All right, now those are the solutions on the unit circle, but as we know, for example, if this angle is a solution, then so will be this angle. So we can add 2 pi to any of these answers, and we'll get new answers that also work. So we can show that, now I say 2 pi, but it'll, it'll work for 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi. Here's how I can show that. I can say pi over 3 plus 2 times n times pi, 2 pi times n. So really what that's saying is we can add any number of rotations around the circle, and we will get new answers that also work for this equation that will also make this true. And there are my solutions.